Nasher across the timeline. Gets the ball to Terrence Stewart. Stewart standing top of the key. Stewart now looking for a pass. Has nothing. Goes inside to Demetrius Poles. Poles back to Terrence Stewart on the near wing. 17 on the shot clock. 420 on the game clock. Stewart top of the circle being isolated. Kicks the ball to Roscoe Harris for three. Near side. Nothing but iron. No good. Rebound. Chris Simich. Four minutes left. Illinois Wesleyan with the ball and a two-point lead. P.J. Posey on the far wing, guarded by Antoine Dasher. Now he almost turns the ball over, but recovering nicely is Brian Crabtree. Crabtree, top of the key, hands off to Posey. 14 on the shot clock. Posey with the basketball, now on the far wing. Posey picks up his dribble, looking for a pass. Doesn't have anything, still looking. How about a five-second violation? Nothing is called as Posey gets the ball to Chris Simich. Two on the shot clock. Titans now try to work the ball towards the rim. No good. A shot clock violation will be called. Great defensive set there from the props, and that was very much needed. Rowan College did everything picture perfect on that last defensive set. They tried to draw the foul. Roscoe Harris did a good job of staying off the ball. Didn't draw the foul. 35-second violation. Props with the ball and a chance to tie. Props down by two. Three-point field goal is an air ball, but it goes off the hands of John Litwiller. No, it didn't. They're going to give the basketball to the Titans, and Karen Stewart is angry that Antoine Dasher took that three-pointer. Now those two exchanging words, that's not a good sign. 323 left, the props trailing by two, and the last thing they need is to have internal arguments here. They are fighting enough with the Titans. D.J. Posey passes top of the circle to Brian Crabtree. Crabtree trying to get the ball inside to John Litwiller. That Willard gives to Brian Knight. Brady Knight checked that, and he gets the ball to T.J. Posey. Near side for three, it's good. Posey drains the three, and that really may cause some problems. Five-point deficit for the prop. Dasher inside the paint, his shot is good. So it's a three-point lead for Illinois Wesleyan. 2.45 left, and the props really need to step it up defensively. Rowan trailing by a three-point field goal. Illinois Wesleyan with the basketball. D.J. Posey gets the ball to Litwiller. Far wing, Litwiller picks up his dribble, looking for a pass, hands off to Posey. Posey working the shot clock. 10 left on the shot clock, 2.25 on the game clock. Posey trying to drive past the defender, kicks the ball to Litwiller for three. It's a brick, rebound, Demetrius Pohl. 2.15 left, the cross trail by three. They should work it inside for a two here. Dasher with the basketball, top of the key. Dasher looking for a pass, picking up his dribble. Has the basketball now after giving to Demetrius Pohl. Bounce pass near side to Terrence Stewart for three. Good! Terrence Stewart ties the game with a three-point bomb. 74-74. Under two minutes left. Is he the captain or is he the captain? Unbelievable. Terrence Stewart drains the three. The Rowan College cross for the first time in this game are standing ovation. Three-point attempt forward side from Brian Crabtree. Is no good. Rebound Roscoe Harris. A minute and 35 left to Prof. And the Titans deadlock at 74. Rowan Collins with the basketball. Dasher across the timeline. Right-handed waist side dribble. The Prof will work the clock here. Dasher inside the paint. Tries to go to Demetrius Polk, but it's taken away by Posey. Posey up court to number 34, Brian Crabtree, who is hammered. He is hammered on a good foul. They did not want to give up an easy basket there. Dasher will pick up the personal. Crabtree on the line shooting two extremely important free throws. The first is up, the first is good. Illinois Wesleyan back in the lead. 75, 74 minutes, 16 left. Second free throw up. That's going to be short rebound, though. It's grabbed by Simich. Simich on the floor. He's called for a traveling violation before he called the timeout. Oh, no. This one ref right in front of our broadcast table is going to give him the timeout. No way. That is insane. Inbound is grabbed by Crabtree, who hits the floor, and he's going to be called for traveling. And that is called justice right there on that play. That is just sweet justice. The turnover only takes one second off the clock. Prop ball, great D by Terrence Stewart. And Antoine Dasher checks back in for the prop. With 72 ticks left on the clock, we have an odd-numbered lead for Illinois Wesley, a one-point lead. That means it's hair-raising time. And Dasher's hobbling on that leg, but he's a trooper. Hart 
Dasher walks across the timeline. Right-handed waist side dribble. Dasher working that Titans 3-2 zone defense. One minute left to play. Now it's Terrence Stewart on the near wing. Gives to Demetrius Holt. Holt's lot pass inside to Harvin. Up strong. He scores off the glass. Rowan leads 76-75 with under a minute left. Get back and play some D. The Titans with the basketball. Across the timeline comes Posey. Posey stands on the near wing, guarded by Roscoe Harris. Passes top of the circle to Brian Crabtree. Crabtree gives to Simich. Simich back to Posey. 16 on the shot clock, 34 on the game clock. Now a loose ball on the floor. Jump ball is called. The possession arrow is in favor of Rowan. You have to get the ball into Terrence Stewart's hand. We'll see what Rowan College elects to do. Chris, Chris McShane, pardon me, Rob, will inbound right in front of it. And a very important inbound it is. 31.2 seconds left. Inbound goes to Terrence Stewart. Stewart puts the ball on the floor, passes far side to Antoine Dasher, who's across the timeline. Dasher is now fouled by number 12, Brady Knight. So Dasher will go to the free throw line to shoot one and one. And oh boy, one and one. How important is the front end of this one and one? The Titans, you gotta know, you gotta foul right away. They let precious seconds, almost six and a half, seven seconds go off the clock. You can't do that. Dasher takes one dribble. Now takes two more. Shot is up. Lots of arc. And it's no good off the back of the iron rebound. Chris Simic, who is fouled. Simic, who is fouled on the play, will go to the free throw line to shoot two with 23.2 seconds left. Shooting two, his first is up, and it is good. 676, 76 to score. Simic will have a chance to get the Titans back the lead with 23.2 seconds left. Rowan College has to box out here. Absolutely. That's one thing they haven't done in the second half very well. I was just going to say that Rowan College on a miss here absolutely has to pull this rebound down. Free throw is up, and that one is good. The Titans have a one-point lead. 23.2 seconds left. Dasher across the timeline, into the front court for the prop. Dasher with the basketball, top of the circle, drives inside the paint, gives off to Lamont Harvin, up strong, a shot so good. Pippen from Demetrius, pulls, it's good! 8.5 seconds left. Rowan has a one-point lead. They got to play D here, Jeff. What a great play. Terrence Stewart picks up a steal with 1.5 seconds left. Clutch steal for Terrence Stewart. He was fouled immediately. He will go to the free throw line. Free throw is up, nothing but the bottom of the net. 79-77. Stewart will have one more. He earns the back end. 1.5 seconds left to play. What a wonderful game we've had. Hope you've enjoyed our broadcast. The second free throw is missed purposely. And now Terrence Stewart did not hit the rim, which means Illinois Wesleyan will have a chance to inbound with 1.5 seconds left. Rowan leads. 79-77, and the defensive strategy here, Rob, I would say is not to foul. Nobody gets behind you, and no foul. Terrence Stewart, not a very smart play. It was a good idea, but he didn't draw iron, and you can't do that. Scott Peterson will inbound. Peterson looking for an inbound. Has it, it's number 10 on the inbound. Number 20, Nathan Hubbard. Hubbard's layup was no good, and Rowan College is going to the NCAA Division III Championship game for the first time since 1975. Oh, that is huge, Jeff. What a play all around. Great game. This game has been incredible.